Coming up, we're going to tell you about a local cutting-edge clinical trial involving this head device. It might be one that's going to treat brain injuries. In fact, it is. We'll tell you more about that. And we'll be right back. Well, thanks, Megan. The month of March is also Brain Injury Awareness Month as experts are learning more about concussions and other major head injuries. And researchers here in D.C. are looking for help to test a new medical device to see if it can bring lasting benefit to some patients who are dealing with traumatic brain injuries. Megan Mooney has more. March is Brain Injury Awareness Month, so today we're at MedStar National Rehabilitation Hospital where they're conducting a clinical trial for anyone who might have suffered from a brain injury or a concussion. Imagine having a non-invasive, compact device that can directly stimulate the brain. Experts are hoping that a new technology can enhance the recovery process from traumatic brain injury, also known as TBI. So how common are brain injuries and in resulting balance issues? Over 5 million Americans live with traumatic brain injury disability. Uh, it's also estimated that 300,000 service members have been injured with traumatic brain injury between the years 2000 and 2015. Anywhere from about 30 to 65 percent of them will have some uh, disability that includes balance problems or vestibular problems. Uh, that may include dizziness, it may include difficulty with walking. Uh, or just a sensation of immobility or movement. To help the increasing number of patients with TBI, researchers are developing the PONS device. PONS stands for Portable Neuromodulation Stimulator. It's one of the first non-invasive devices designed to amplify the brain's ability to heal itself. So this is the device, this is the PONS, and there's this piece which actually is the neurostimulator itself. It has these electrodes on it, and this is placed on the tongue in the patient's mouth. And then this is worn around the neck, so it goes on like this, and the patient would put it in their mouth. So why is the treatment administered through the tongue? Researchers believe that neurostimulation through the tongue is a direct access to the brain, and the neural networks that uh, typically are used to control movement and sensory functions have been disrupted as a result of the traumatic brain injury. So through the stimulation, it actually allows these neural networks to conduct more effectively and efficiently. The clinical trial that's being conducted at MedStar National Rehabilitation Hospital is designed to see how the PONS device, along with other rehab techniques, can lead to the improvement of functional recovery after a chronic traumatic brain injury. In particular, this is for patients who have persistent imbalance or issues when walking. So the clinical trial that we'll be doing at MedStar National Rehabilitation Hospital is eligible for anyone who has a chronic traumatic brain injury and that's defined by more than one year out from their injury. Must be a mild to moderate injury, which means they cannot have lost consciousness for more than 24 hours. Participants must be between the ages of 18 and 65 and be able to walk on a treadmill for at least 20 minutes. They can be supported while they're walking. Uh, it's important to have balance issues uh, because that's obviously what we're going to be trying to treat through the use of the PONS and physical therapy. The study lasts about six to seven weeks total. This includes a two-week therapy period at the hospital. After the first two weeks, they continue doing exercises at home, which is prescribed by the physical therapist, and they will still continue to use the PONS device while they're doing their home exercises over the next three weeks. All right, let's get to work on this. If you or a loved one has suffered a concussion or brain injury and continue to have problems with balance or walking, you can find out about this new clinical research study at MedStar NRH. To see if you are eligible, go to braininjurytrial.com or call 202-877-1875. And next, if you...